So to close out the day, I'm just going to go through some new and developing educational materials for young orchards. Uh, so this is me, and I didn't say before, but this is my email address. If you're looking for a way to get a hold of me, um, that's the best approach because I'm out in the field a lot, so email is usually best. Um, so many of you may have already grabbed this Young Orchard Handbook. If you haven't grabbed it already, it's uh, on the table over there. So I think this is um, what I was looking to do with this because there's so many folks who are just getting into orchards um, is sort of have a, a quicker cheat sheet or cheat handbook. Um, so as I was getting started, I kept telling people, oh, go, I'll go grab the 300-page almond production manual. That's a good introductory uh, material. But that can be like pretty overwhelming. And a lot of that is not about new orchards. So um, this is meant to be an introduction. And then you can get into the deeper stuff from there. So what we have already deals with um, irrigating young orchards. Um, so this is largely based on Alan Fulton's walnut talk last year, but this also ties in a lot of Blake's research already. Um, so there's an, the ET tables in there. There's one for young almonds also in addition to young walnuts. Um, and as Blake um, alluded to, we have these worksheet examples in there. Uh, so instead of just giving you guys the, the theory behind it, I've tried to give an example at each step that we go through of um, you know, how to know your application rate, how to figure out how much water your soil can store. There's an example for first year tree and third year tree in each of those. And I should say this is what um, we publication nerds call a living document. So this is just me producing it with uh, you know, a word program. It's not like an official a and publication yet. So it would be great to get feedback from you guys if you're using that worksheet and you're like, Gavin, this part didn't really make that much sense. Or maybe you could put it in a different words. Um, that'd be really helpful to hear and I can make those changes. Um, we have one, a chapter in there already on fertilizing young almond and walnut uh, orchards. So this is based on uh, the almond stuff is based on work that David Dahl did last year and presented. And then the walnut stuff is based on sort of years of experience. We don't have a lot of trials around that, but we're hoping to get those in in the future. There's a chapter on training and pruning young almonds and walnut trees. So the walnut section is based on work that Bruce Lampinen, uh, the specialist on campus, has done um, that he presented last year. And um, the almond section is based on work that Joe has done and Roger Duncan, um, which was a, a lot of which went into um, a pruning chapter for the new almond manual and got sort of siphoned down um, into a smaller version for this. And uh, weed management, based on work that Brad Hansen presented last year. He's the weed specialist on campus. So that's in there now. Um, and after this meeting, I'm going to take a lot of the content that was talked about um, and put in something from Roger Baldwin's, a little chapter on vertebrate management um, and a little chapter on pest management. So that's what's in there now is uh, these four things, irrigation, fertilizer, uh, pruning and training, and weed management. But if you check in, in about six months, there will be a, a new version with a little additional material. Where you can get this, well, obviously, you have a hard copy right now. But um, if you want a, the PDF version to share with your friends and loved ones, uh, that's where you can get it, is the Yolo County UC website. So um, rather than writing that down, you can also just Google UCCE for UC Cooperative Extension, and then YOLO, UCCE YOLO, will take you um, to our home page, and then there's a fruit and nut tab. All right, so, so that's what we have right now. Um, and another, uh, oh yeah, so I should also say that at the end of each of these chapters, there's additional resources, so things like Almond Doctor blog posts or other uh, places you can go to get more information. Also here, um, I'll have, I have up the slides from last year's 
I'll have video pretty soon from last year that we have to re-record with the speakers. We'll have video and slides from this year also. So it's a good, good um, go-to space for, for lots of resources. Uh, another great resource that we maybe don't talk enough about and you see is the Fruit and Nut Research and Information Center. This is a UC Davis uh, resource. So if you go to uh, their website, just Googling Fruit and Nut, UC Davis Fruit and Nut, uh, they have in this section uh, broken down by different crops and for almonds and walnuts. Uh, this is what the almond page looks like. So there's just like, especially if you're going from tomatoes into tree crops or you're not too familiar with tree crops in general yet, um, this can give a real good overview of, of all the considerations that go into getting an orchard off the ground and keeping it, keeping it happy. There's the one for walnuts. Um, okay, so this is my web page again, uh, or this is the Yolo County UCC homepage, fruit and nut there in the corner, and there's my smiling mug. Um, so here you can get the current Young Orchard Handbook, down right there, um, slides from the 2015 talks, if you go to either the almond or the walnut, uh, and coming soon, slides from 2016, the video from 2016, and the video from 2015. So um, that's it. That was just a real quick overview of some resources that are out there on the web. Um, and if you're looking for our information or resources for not just young crops, but um, existing orchards also, we're having an almond meeting here in Woodland at the, um, the UCCE slash Ag Commissioner building over on Cottonwood. Uh, February 3rd is almonds. February 23rd is walnuts. And um, March 2nd is prunes.